Hey yo, what's going on? What's goody good gang? Hey, what's going on everyone, man? First off, I want to start off with, man, thank you so much for the support and the love that uh, I have gotten from my past um, RM documentary. I have seen the comments. I am going to get around to commenting to them and everything when I get a chance. Like I said, you know, I'm just now getting the chance to even sit down and do this video because I said I would do this video today. So we bringing it. So definitely big shout out to you all for definitely supporting me on that man and um it, it it makes me feel good inside make me feel like my work is definitely you know not gone wasted so definitely big shout out to that so sunday motivation man well, well it's technically monday but you all get it we late with it but today is technically sunday's motivation video and um i'm going to be bringing you Choices, choices, choices. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Them two powerful words there, choices and decisions. Do you know how powerful them two things there are? They literally are the most powerful things that you can literally grasp a hold of in your life themselves. You have full control over your choices and you have full control over your decisions. So why not utilize them wisely? Perfect example. Thy shall not speak nothing from thy mouth that I cannot remember how I go that that he or she should not speak nothing from he or she mouth that he or she does not want to happen. Oh my god, I cannot remember how it goes. I'm so sorry, man. I cannot remember how it goes. It's basically don't speak on something that you really don't want to happen. And that breaks down to learn to control your choices and learn to control your decisions choices you can be in the middle of an argument say you can be in the middle of an argument with your wife your kids your dad your mom it don't matter whoever the case may be friend you may be in the middle of an argument disagreement dispute is even if that individual steps over that boundary and, and gets a little disrespectful or says something out the line your choice is what can decide the ending factor or the worsening factor to that situation you can either say something to calm it down or you can say something to make it worse so one thing that i want to say beforehand is choices and decisions are so powerful to the fact is please heed my words when i say this the worst time to ever make a decision or to ever decide or to to, 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 to choose something it's when you're upset. Listen to me. That's the worst time, one of them. And after you have sex. You may look at me like, oh man, this man stepping out like no, seriously. After you have sex, you are indulging into something that literally puts your body at a different type of spiritual realm, a different feeling that you are not really used to, no matter who that individual is. That's why you got times where you may tend to be having intercourse with the individual and you don't have if you, you can't say you don't have no situation where you don't say you don't love the person before and, and you don't know this person with the animal but because of the fact is that connection that bond your brain is not thinking right so that is why i tell you that is one of the worst times to actually make a choice because your brain no matter how much you think it is it is not thinking clearly it is not when you're horny your brain does not think clearly some people are worse than other where they go and they go commit criminal activities because they can't control the hormones but other than that it is very powerful to not make a decision during sex or after why are you angry that should be common sense you are not clearly thinking 
at the best of your abilities when you're angry. That's clearly common sense. You may think that you are during the time that it is actually happening. Oh, bump you, goddamn you, you know. I, I, I said that this should be sudden, so you may think that you're right at the moment. But at the same time, it's only just a mere smoking mirrors. It just seems like you're right at the moment. Again, you don't want to make no decision when you're upset. Because that, can, that decision be, be, can literally become something critical or something definite or something just regretful that you may choose to do all because you're upset at the moment learn that the rain does not last forever understand me the rain does not last forever so that rain that thunder cloud shall pass so give things time when you're upset take time to step away analyze the situation and come back a little time there is nothing wrong there ain't nothing you ain't no you ain't no wuss you ain't no b-i-t-c-h you ain't you you are a better man when you walk away it don't matter what the situation it can be a situation with a random stranger in the street that does something you are the bigger man when you can walk away analyze the situation and realize if it's really worth your time or not especially if you got family if you got goals if you got a dream why indulge in a situation that can possibly take you away from them achievements them memories why so learn to manage your decisions while you're angry that's a, that's a big thing first thing like i said don't make a decision while you're angry next do not make a decision during or after sex hormones is hormones are rushing chemicals are releasing throughout the brain you are not thinking clearly in them two big situations right there so just think and take heed to what i said man just think about it let's learn to make better observations so we can have better outcomes from our choices and our decisions they are the main thing that we can control in our life because they take time to actually think well you're supposed to take time to think about it if you make a decision that means you just you didn't really just think about it man that's one of the worst things you can do is think but then react without thinking that's another th big thing too Think about that because that plays into a big part of what we're talking about today. Think before you react. And that may possibly save you from a lot of situations. Now, there are situations where you do not need to think and you just need to react. But most times, try thinking before you react. Most of the time, the body and the mind is already set up to know when you don't need to think before you act, before acting. You're adrenaline and everything kicks in your, your body will naturally know when to take over and to be flight fight or flight so other than that let's think before we speak man that's pretty much all i have for today man to wrap it up this is the end of today's episode of sunday motivation man i hope everyone had a great easter man because this i i dang that i think about it i, I feel bad because it would have been released on easter but i hope everyone got a great easter man i hope everyone Boiled a lot of eggs and died a lot of eggs, man. You know, and enjoy time with the family and whatever the case may be. So, we wrapping this video up. You know how we gonna end it. Hope everyone is having a great day. And if it's not, hope it becomes better before the end. Remember when you wake up and you got a reason to smile, and you got a reason to live, and keep going. Stay blessed, never stressed, man. And we out.